Welcome to Tools on Tech Whiskey Sessions, where I drink a nice whiskey and I talk about a topic. And today's topic will be why you shouldn't be using a gmail.com email address. And first of all, the whiskey. I'm drinking a Telesker Sky. I personally prefer the Telesker Storm, but well, I prefer that one a bit too much and I'm all out of it. So I'll be drinking the next best thing and that is the Telesker Sky. It's a nice smoky whiskey like all Teleskers. And let me open that up. Now, this is a productivity channel, so don't worry. We're not gonna talk about whiskey all the time. I will get into the renting in just a bit, but I also wanted to enjoy whiskey while I'm renting on why you shouldn't be having a gmail.com email address. I'm just taking a tad. Because I'll be talking most of the time anyway. <laughs> so why shouldn't you be using your gmail.com email address? Well, simply put, you don't own gmail.com, meaning that if at any point in time your account gets blocked at Google's place, you can't log into Google, you can't log into any sites where you used Google login, and you can't do a password recovery on any site that uses your at gmail.com email address. And while Google itself probably won't fail anytime soon, chances of you being blocked someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for you. Are low, but still not zero. There's plenty of chances. If you've ever tried logging into your Google account from a different device while you're on holiday, you know how Google treats it when you're not verified yet. I don't know who you are. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And the other end is that if you get blocked, have you ever tried calling Google? I'm pretty sure you haven't and you probably couldn't access them. Even me, I have a paid Google Apps account. I have a number, but it's not perfect. It's hard calling Google. This is not their service model. Their service model is automation. So you can be sure that if you get blocked, you won't be able to unblock it in an hour or something. It might take days, weeks, and if you can't access important things like Notion, that can have a disastrous effect on your working. Also, people that are used to emailing you on this can't email you. You're really up shit creek, as one would say. So what can you do about that? And the solution is pretty simple. And that is get your own custom domain. You can get a custom domain for about a euro a month, about a dollar fifty a month. Depends a bit on the domain. There's cheaper domains, there's more expensive domains. Just be sure to get them at a bigger company because I personally made the mistake. I had a friend and he ran a company and he managed all my domains. At some point he had a breakdown, which was terrible of course, but it also meant that I couldn't access these domains anymore and there was no way to recover it. I spent a lot of time talking to a lot of registers to get things recovered. Now I did get these things recovered, but it just, it was a hassle. So, you know, take a bit bigger company and get your domain there. And then all you need to do once you have a domain is use their forwarding function to make sure that everything that goes towards that domain in email gets forwarded to your Gmail account. Because I love using Gmail, I love using Google, I wouldn't stop doing that, but I do like the fact that I have the control and that my email is separate from Google. Meaning that if I do get blocked, all I need to do is go to that ISP and change the forwarding address, either to a different gmail.com address, or if I can't use Google anymore because I did some really bad things, in which case I would be in trouble considering I have a YouTube channel, then of course I would send it to an ISP and work from there. So if you care about your data, I would highly recommend using this email forwarding method from a custom domain and then changing your logins for any of the sites you care about. You don't have to do it for everything at many places. The convenience definitely topples the recovery options, but any place where you keep your notes or tasks like Todoist, Notion, Rome, where you don't have like a local copy of it, I would definitely recommend switching that one to a custom email address with a domain that's yours that you can change and it allows you to easily recover because if you do get blocked, all you need to do is go to your internet service provider, ISP, and then change the forwarding email from an old email to a new one. And that can be a Gmail account as well, unless you did something really bad and you're not allowed anywhere near Google at the time. That was my five minute rant on why you shouldn't have a gmail.com email address as your login everywhere. 
I'm enjoying my whiskey. Remember, you're awesome. Keep it up.